In Egypt, more protests are expected. The Muslim Brotherhood is calling for its supporters to rally in anger at the military takeover. This was the scene overnight in the Nasser city district of Cairo. Uh, demonstrators are there to demand that the deposed president uh, be reinstated. <laughs> Pro-ousted President Mohamed Morsi supporters marched in Cairo overnight holding symbolic coffins demanding his reinstatement. The clampdown on Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood has continued with the issuing of arrest warrants for senior figures who are wanted allegedly for inciting violence. Prosecutors order the arrest of 10 senior figures of the Brotherhood, including leader Mohamed Badia. He's accused of inciting violence on Monday in the capital. More than 50 people were killed in a clash between demonstrators and security forces. Members of the Muslim Brotherhood released an online message. They want Morsi supporters to gather in Cairo for a rally after Friday prayers. They say they will reject the military coup and restore the peaceful revolution of 2011, and they pledge they are ready to sacrifice their lives to regain their dignity. The military deposed Morsi a week ago. The interim prime minister called on uh, the political wing of the Brotherhood, the Freedom and Justice Party, to join a caretaker government. But... The party rejected the invitation, saying it won't cooperate with the coup. In the last two days, both the military and Morsi supporters provided edited videos to CNN, making the case the other side was responsible. These were provided by supporters of deposed President Mohamed Morsi. An Egyptian soldier repeatedly takes aim from between other soldiers carrying riot shields. The slow motion video shows him firing through barbed wire. In this edited clip, demonstrators chant, God is great. In another portion, without audio, this soldier fires three shots. In each case, independent military experts consulted by CNN say the soldiers appear to be firing live ammunition, not blanks. Here, uniformed soldiers fire from rooftops near where crowds are gathered. The Morsi supporters say the videos are evidence of what they call a massacre by the Egyptian armed forces. The National Salvation Front, the main political coalition that backed the July 3rd military coup, has called for a judicial inquiry into the shootings. But it insists the Muslim Brotherhood, Morsi's power base, instigated events. The UN and the Obama administration have both raised concerns over the arrests. The arrests we've seen, of course, over the past several days targeting specific groups are not in line with the national reconciliation that the interim government and military say they are pursuing. If politicized arrests and detentions continue, it is hard to see how Egypt will move beyond this crisis. The U.S. government is likely to press on with plans to deliver four fighter jets to Egypt in the next few weeks. But it could still cut military aid if it determines that the removal of the president was a coup. We do not recognize the arrest warrant. We don't recognize the government. We don't recognize the public prosecutor. We recognize nothing that these putschist dictators do. We want Morsi to be the president of the republic in the al Ittihadia palace. We want him to exercise his powers in accordance with the constitution approved by the Egyptian people. Everyone who wants to hold him to account or to isolate him must follow the constitutional path. In the constitution, there is a procedure for holding presidents to account or isolating them. Let's follow the constitutional path. You can't just get rid of a president by a military coup. Then the anti-Morsi people were saying that it was Morsi's incompetence, his government's incompetence, that they couldn't handle the situation in Egypt, that they couldn't handle the security situation in Egypt. But neither side has any kind of physical evidence to prove their theories. But for the level-minded Egyptians, the ones who are walking around, who are living their lives as they have 
been under the Morrissey regime and now under the uh, interim uh, government, yes, their lives have uh, significantly improved when it comes to the gas, when it comes uh, to power, and when it comes to some security issues. But that being said, they're nowhere near to where they need to be. The Egyptian people are still suffering, um, and uh, the Egyptian pound continues. It's rising steadily, but it's still seven pounds to the American dollar, and that's not good. That's not a very good situation for the Egyptian economy.